Islam and greetings, Moors. Welcome back to another episode of Partner Interjection. I am your host, Supreme L. I would love to give high honors to Prophet Noble Drew Ali and all the active Moors in their due diligence in the upliftment of fallen humanity. I want to give shout outs to inactive Moors because you will be active soon. Real soon. Here on Partner Interjection, we dig up information to divulge to the family. Because in this day and time, we definitely need this information to get informed. Because we are out of order. And I say we as black people are out of order. We are not black. We are not crayons. We are not markers. We are a nation. So we must have nationality if we are a nation. It's simple. It's not complex. It is simple. Today's date is Friday, May 22nd. 2015 I've got some information I want to share to the family today and I want to give a shout out to uh, the Grand Sheik Iron Sheik of the North my big brother I call him Joel Kujo Ajuel what's up big bro Got some information from him. And, uh, I want to read a letter or some letters to your family. Um, pertaining to Morris Science Temple of America. There's a letter. That's, I guess, number number two. So, obviously, there's a number one that I did not find. That it is uh, a letter to uh, one C. Kirkman Bay from, I want to give honors to this brother, E. Millie Ill. Peace and blessings be upon him. Mind you, family, there is a part one or there is a, a letter one page one I'm reading from page two and it's a little grainy because it's been typed and it's older or it's an old paper old type paper and it reads I had nothing to do with the no Morse Science Temple anymore and why things to cause trouble and confusion uh, pardon the interjection uh, as we can see, and you know, I don't take a rocket scientist to see that he must have been saying uh, someone or somehow this had got to uh, some people that he wasn't a part of the temple anymore. He didn't want to be part of it or had anything to do with the temple anymore and wanted to cause confusion and trouble. Um, uh, and going to lead you off the true path or the true way. Uh, so obviously some some word had got around she, he say she say got around and saying that this brother was not a part of it anymore and he was trying to cause confusion and try to lead people off the way the true way so let's continue I have received Emiliel some very unpleasant letters even from some of our governors but Allah my God is watching all be faithful to our prophet, our redeemer, our leader, and Allah will bless you. I have no ill will against anyone, and I am ready at all times to listen to good thoughts, even from the least. I, I'm thinking that is, pardon me. But I don't think anyone have the right to put himself in the prophet's place and try to uh, it has really bad 
that word right there bad really and, and try to I don't know that word I can't really make that out it's kind of faded to those that the prophet left to look after his business we honored brother Kirkman with papers of the prophet's credentials to show him we appreciated his services he performed over the prophet's body while in state a prophetic body while in state pardon me but they were not given him to take charge of the more science temple some think he should be but that is in direct violation of the prophet's law and if the prophet had wanted the brother to assume authority of his temples he would have appointed him to that post before he passed so be very careful dear Moors read your constitutions questionnaire and Quran and be governed accordingly on the back of your questionnaire three you will find the line up of officials as in order by the will of the prophet himself and any other way means a failure for you I am endeavoring endeavoring to get to this uh, understanding here for the betterment of all and in honor of our prophet the glory of our God Allah if you respect the judgment of Drew Ali and his divine his divine doctrine pardon me I am perfectly satisfied let us learn to obey whatever the cost may be pardon me uh, I'm trying to make it out family I'm gonna do my best because it's gonna get conveyed pardon the interjection and we continue and victory is on our side the prophet told me dear Muslims I have put my law in your hand and my word in your mouth and you are to tell them what to do and they are to obey end quote he also said pardon me quote tell them my law hold up me before them if you will hold me up before them I will draw all men unto me end quote I hope you will read this before your body um assumed I have nothing to hide oh pardon me because pardon me because I have nothing to hide or to be ashamed of because I know Allah and his prophet are with me they have proven it in the past it's true present and will be in the future Write me Write me Write me Let me hear what your opinion is I know No supreme But Allah And no Buju Ali Is his prophet Peace Chairman Moore Science Temple of America E. Melly Ill. And that is a very important letter. Now, for 
all the family too uh, differentiates uh, as I say uh, for yourself to, to, to study and learn for yourself because this coming from a brother Emiliel who was the successor the true successor uh, and there's another letter I want to also share with you family and uh, it's really really pivotal that you know we get this information and find this information out for ourselves uh, I can't really I can't really make this this one out but um yeah we we have to find this information and this is a court document that's really kind of faded but it if I can make it out, it says Morse Science Temple of America. Um, it looks like a court paper, May 12, 1931, Chicago, Illinois. Mr. E. Melly Ill, Morse Science Temple of America. A corporation, Chicago, Illinois. Dear Sir, Kindly acknowledging receipt of 120 notes for professional services rendered in the case of Morris Science Temple of America, a corporation by C. Kirtman Bay versus E. Melly Ill. This is to further state that the verdict was entered in favor of the defendant, which was yourself. E. Millie L. by Judge Ebert Ebert E B E R H A R T Eberhart in the municipal courtroom 913 on May 7th, 1931, case number 1746990. Respectfully yours, Wendell. K or H Green, Wendell K or H Green, or Wendell Green, and that is from the courts in Chicago, that was another one that we wanted to share with the family, oh okay, 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 now this one came up and it's a little better, it's not, the last one I wanted to show you or convey and uh, speak on was, a, was really, really blurry, but this one is better and it reads, uh, the following letter is a letter sent from Brother E. Millie L., Supreme Grand Sheik of the MSTA, to Brother T. Crumbie Bay of 536 W. 12th Street, Indianapolis, Indiana, dated 6-17-1931, and reads as follows. Pardon me. Pardon me. Islam, my dear brother, I am agreeably surprised as well as glad to hear from you at this time. I have often wondered what had happened to you. Now, speaking of Dove L D O V E L E L, you didn't give much understanding as to what this party was doing or where he was operating or who gave him his authority if he acts on the lines of Islam. So find out what this brother is teaching, his right to do so, and who did he receive it from. Now, the whole trouble is this. When I was on my way around to visit the Prophet's temple in August 1929, Kirtman Bay was made Supreme Grand Advisor by a group of members secretly. And it was kept secret, unbeknowing to me, what was on. Till we were ready to tranact 
our regular or transact, pardon me, uh, transact is what it, transact our regular business in the convention. Then they sprang out this trick of making Kirkman head of the organization, which is in direct violation of the Prophet's laws and the Holy Quran. According to chapter 10, verse 22, we, as heads of the Prophet's temple, fell asleep at that point. By being confused over the passing of our Prophet, which they knew you would not be expecting any surprise, and that so they thought was the time for them to put him over. But, I had stated in the outset, in advance of any official work, that in view of the passing of the Prophet and the much confusion that was very rampant at that time, we wouldn't be able to do anything ineffective, pardon me, effective, except choose a grand treasurer. And a board of trustees, which the prophet said himself we should have. Anything else I declared would be unofficial. Pardon the interjection. Let me read that again. Coming from Brother E. Millie L. Anything else I declared would be unofficial till the next regular meeting of Supreme Court. Grand Council. Pardon the interjection. I think that will be seen a dear. Maybe. Maybe not. But that's just the interjection. And we continue. He, Kurtman Bay, in parentheses, was made advisor anyway. But I knew I had been given the power by the prophet in the first article of the Constitution to change anything went wrong by the Holy Quran Constitution which we did in the last convention but he didn't think so pardon me he doesn't think so and declared or decided against him yet he is still acting against the will of the holy prophet Drew Ali but can you expect he thinks he has perfect right to do what he is doing because so many of the governors and grand sheiks fell after the passing of the prophet and most of them are with him now and against the prophet pardon the interjection family please please may I read that again thank you but, can you expect, he thinks he has perfect right to do so, or do what he is doing, because so many of the governors and grand sheiks fell after the passing of the prophet, and most of them are with him now, and against the prophet. Wake up. You sleep. Wake up, family. Pardon the interjection. And we continue. They are fighting me, E. Millie L., because I won't stand for Kurtman Bay 
to act as supreme grand advisor of the organization. They are doing all they can against me on his account, virtually destroying, if possible, the movement through willful, malicious, pardon the interjection, willful, malicious disobedience. And that was coming from Brother E. Milly L. So, family, from what we can gather, some of us is not following the true prophet's teachings, more science temple of America. There was some confusion when the prophet passed. But instead of getting the treasury together and a board of trustees, everybody, you know, they fell asleep and no, what the hell? And that was a perfect opportunity for certain people to step on and slide on in and change things or try to change things. We sleep, family. Wake up. We fell from grace. Go to sleep. And it's 102 years now since the prophet bought our creed, nationality, and our names back to us. Don't forget, remember, remember, family, remember who you are. You're not an objective. You are a noun. Pardon, an adjective. Pardon me. But you are, I guess, an object. I love you, Moors. It's time we build up our temple. All of us are a temple. All of us are a brick to building back our national temple as a national body temple. We need a foundation. So let's get to work. This has been another episode of Partner Interjection. Like I say, don't believe me. Go. Check it out for yourself. And the jewels you'll find on your treasure hunt would amaze you. Islam. Love. And peace forevermore.